five for UCLA, Kenny Hyde, Curtis Rowe, Lou Alcindor, Lynn Shackelford, and John Donnelly. And for Purdue, it is Jerry Johnson who is six ten, jumping with Alcindor now. Faber, Keller, Mount, controlled by Alcindor to Curtis Rowe. Stays off to the side, Shackelford can't save it from going out of bounds. It went beyond him, first turnover for UCLA. Rowe's pass goes astray. And UCLA has turned one over. Somewhere in there, David. Okay, in front court now to Faber. On the outside mound, and he has Kenny Heights with him. Hand in his face, shoots. It's good. Two to nothing, Purdue. Mount hitting. So, now the full court press. Al Sender helping out against it. Dribbling against Johnson, and he's going to take it up in the front court himself. He does. Stop, gives to Kenny Heights. Past the 10 second line. Now, the Bruins giving the first two points up to Mount. That'll be out of the key against Keller. Now, that'll be a matchup there, apparently. Let's see what they're doing here, Purdue. Fed to Lou underneath. High pass, but he puts it up and in. Over Johnson. High pass from Kenny Heights. Two to two. High ball game. Front court quickly. Herm Gillian giving here to Rick Mount. Shooting from the outside from 20 feet. Put again. Mount has hit a pair. Four to two. Set in the battle, Keller pressing him, but see, that's the only man pressuring him. He's giving ground as he comes up court. Battle in the left hand, dribble left hand side. Left now to Curtis Rowe out on the wing wide there. Bounce past the battle against Keller. Pell footer does not go outside the row. Here he comes, banking it, missing. Other side, battle shoves it up, no good. Jack gets it, takes it back outside nicely to Kenny Hyde. Four to two, Purdue. Hyde pivoting around, gets the shack. He does not shoot. Right side to Curtis Rowe. Battle, trying to take Keller inside with him again. He gives some inches there. There's a push and a foul. Offensive players a goal foul against Battle. Front court now, Herm Gilliam operating on the outside here. Cutting into the key now, Johnson, one on the outside. Sets it for Mount, outside cast, Mount. No good this time, rebound, took the run outside the battle to UCLA. Mount taking three hits, too long pass. Here's Roy, he can't save it. That's it back in, but to Gilliam of Purdue. So the Bruins turned it over again without a shot. Four to two, they trail. Gilliam top of the key behind the back pass over to Mount. Mount dribbles around with height pan in his face. Shoots, does not make it. Lou gets the rebound away from Johnson. Beats to Kenny Height. Long pumper, 25-footer, the moon shot. Does not go. Shot gets the rebound in the corner as it came off that time. Dribbles back out with it. Beats to Lou. Pivots around. Can't shoot. Wants to give it back to Shaq in the corner. Back to Lou. Turn around. Bank by Alcindor. It's good. From six feet. Baseline bank. Five ball game. Four to four. Side Bill Keller. Front court for Purdue. Shoots from 20 feet. It does not go. Rebound Alcindor from UCLA. Out quickly. Shaq over in front court. Possible two on one. Shaq can't get it into battle. He beats to him now. He's against Gilliam. Turn around by battle. He doesn't go. Tipped out by Curtis Rowe. Batted away into the UCLA bench. It'll be given to Purdue. Four to four. Purdue gets the ball. 17-07 to go in the first half. Give them out. Rowe on him at the moment of the matchup. Outside cast here for a screen. Mount does not hit again. Rebound. Saved by Vallely, almost knocked away by Shackelford from his own man. Vallely up court, left hand dribble front court now in the midcourt area. Left side, Gilliam covering Shackelford. Better than East Salou against Johnson, up and in. That matchup will not go. Six to four, Bruins on top. Keller into the key. Let's get clear of Vallely, can't. Back to Gilliam, Shackelford on Gilliam. Back again to Keller in the midcourt area to set up the play. Mount at the high post area here. Keller from 15 feet hit. Bill Keller ties it up. Pressure will be Gilliam on Shackelford alone. He's still dribbling for backcourt. Pass the 10 second line. Gets the battle in the center circle area. At low post, Al Sunder and Jerry Johnson with a hand up playing him. I'd plucky to beat him if he can. Can't. Round of battle. right side to Rowe. Rowe is against uh, uh, Sperber. He shoots. Uh, whistle has a foul call here on Faber. Puts the first in. And Ames puts it up. And in. Rowe hits the boat. Eight to six. Bruin. At least say nothing of it. 15.54 to go, it's 8 to 6. Gilliam now left of the key. Bruins swarming all over, he can't shoot. Here's the drive to the corner and a shot by Keller. It does not go out, it comes, tipped away, but into the hands now of Kaufman. With tipped by Rowe, outside cast, Gilliam. It will not go, rebound taken by Curtis Rowe. Up there like a jumping jack off to the side. Al Cinder and then the Battley. Battley on the front court. Battley now, the Bruins slowing down the pace just a bit here, waiting for Lou to get set. In the right front of the shack, fall away pumper by Shackelford. Does not go, settles down into the hands of Kaufman as it came down. The timing, as it hit the rim twice, threw the Bruins off a little bit on their timing. 
Front court area, Keller with the ball now. Keller dribbling Mount off to the right, gives it to Faber. Now Mount coming back out in the midcourt area now. Let's see, he's trying to get a pick for him. He's not clear as Al Sinder came up. Dribbles around to the right, fall away, 18-footer from the angle. No good, tipped out, there's a whistle of the foul here. Roll makes it, and that makes it now 9-6. to six. The scoreboard has uh, it's screwy again. 14.53 to go on the half. Right side to Bedford, and back out to Keller. Keller to Mount. Mount trying to get a pick there. Does Al Sender pick him up as he shoots from the outside to the mouth? No good. Rebound. The cycle for the UCLA. Boy, Lou showed me something there. When the, when the, the man picked there, Lou came up to bother Mount, get a hand up, although he shoots the best he's ever seen for anybody with a hand in his face, says Coach John Wooden of UCLA. Bro feeding it into Al Sender. Dribbles into the key. Hook. In and out, no good. Tips it up, no good. Gets it again and puts it in. And a foul. There, Al Sender shooting one. Completes the three-point play to make it 12 to 6. Left side against Shackleford. Covers him in the corner nicely. Heights crowding with Mount. Mount and Vanley helping out. They feed it back out to Keller in court area. Now they squeeze out a screen for Mount. Outside, 18-footer on the way off the rim. No good. Rebound. Battle for it. Who's going to get it? Lou comes up with a loose ball. Pivots around. Gives to Vanley now. He just sort of let him know he was there. Oh, intercepted pass. Here's Mount coming up court against Battle. He's trying to go in. Makes a beautiful move. Doesn't make it. And, and game by row on the rebound. The turnover, but the Bruins have Mount miss again. Shack in the front court. Baseline. Banks it up. Good. Shackleford. From 15 feet at an angle. Bruins are switching man for man. And Kenny Heights playing Mount so far. Fred the Kaufman and Keller tries to come back into the key area to get a shot. Fall away jumper by Keller. No good. Comes back to Keller, puts it up again, makes it. From 15 feet. Okay, for backboard, Al Sinder against Kaufman and brings it up. He gives it to Kenny Heights almost at the 10 second line there, almost bringing it to backcourt. And Kenny was being very careful. He's against Rick Mount here as he dribbles off to the left. And a man for man here. Pete Al Sinder with the baseline. Turn around, one hander, no good. Followed by Curtis Rowe on the other side. Good. And it's 16 to 8, UCLA. And to Gilliam against Shackleford, Bruins are a switching man for man. With height pounding uh, Mount all the way. The Kaufman out the midcourt area to Keller. Keller looking the thing over. Off to the left side, feed now to Kaufman at the low post. Giving around to Mount, coming around. <laughs> height breaks up the pick. Here's Mount falling away, whistle, foul on Height. The free throw line, he makes his first. Second settles in, 10 points for Purdue, 16 to 10. Right with the left of the key, sucked away by Mount, but then the hands of Shackleford, hooked by Lou. And he hooks it out for about eight inches. Scoreboard now shows 10 to 10. Oh boy, 18 to 10. Left corner, and then back out. We'll have to keep a good metal tie with the scoreboard, not rely on them. Right side it comes to Bedford in front court. Feeds into the key. Kaufman could have had a shot. Tries to set a screen for Mount. Driving in. Shoot over. Vanley. No good. Rebound taken by Al Sinder. In the front court. Right side. Kenny Heights. Right corner. Shaq pumps away quickly. The moon shot. Yes! 20 to 10. 11.36 to go. Shaq to the corner. Gilliam in the front court here. Pumps away from 18 feet at an angle. No good. Out it comes to Keller. Knocked away from Keller by Heights who gets it. Hooks it up to Shackleford. He can't get to it out of bounds. 10 UCLA Purdue from backcourt after the turnover by UCLA. Keller driving into the key, gets the 15 footer. It does not go. Rebound. Battles by Purdue. They both carry it out, and UCLA gets the ball. One hand of his there is Kaufman. It's set in to Vatily. Vatily up court. Keller right alongside him. Keller has quick hands. Vatily goes all the way to the baseline. Comes it up. Good. Eight footer by Vatily from the baseline. Really a tight uh, job done so far by Kenny Heights on Rick Maud. They're trying to keep him from getting the ball. Here's Bedford shooting for the outside in and out. No good. Dipping in and out. Rebound row UCLA. Getting it now to Vatily. Bruins 22 to 10 over Purdue at this stage. In the front court, Kenny Heights. Kenny Heights setting up to Al Sunder underneath. Puts it in in one fluid motion. Taking it high in midair and from the basket turning and banking it in. Keller, right side, to favor, Mount, bothered, crowded by Heights over there, dribbling around, gets his shot from the corner, blocked by Heights, but he caught the arm, I think, in it comes into the corner to Mount, Heights is on it, he shoots from the corner, does not get it again, tipped out nicely by Rose, saves it at the sideline, nope, he could not, out of bounds on the side. Weatherford is in the ballgame, number 45, feeding into the mound, he has uh, replaced Keller at this stage. 
Driving around to the right now. Pass off is partially blocked, but it gets the fallaway jumper. Gilliam in and out. Dipping in and out. Purdue cannot hit. Just like somebody's popping a hand from underneath the basket. Elson to rebound it to Kenny Heights up on the front court now. Bruin with a 24 to 10 lead. Here's front court. Heights gives the battle to the midcourt area. Being crowded here. Pressing by Weatherford. Drives to the baseline. Gets underneath. Cuts it up and in. He got by his man. Battle Front court. Left side to mouth. Heights still hounding him. Back in the midcourt area to Weatherford. Larry Weatherford here. Right side now to Tyrone Bedford. Bedford sees some of the key here is Gilliam, and he was pushed, I believe, by Shackleford. No basket. He followed through and made the basket, but it did not count. Shot is good here by Herman Gilliam. Single free throw, 20 to 11. Third on UCLA as a team. The backcourt now. Mount Singh with Kenny Hyde. The dribbles by him, getting it into the front court area. Passes into the corner. Corner shot. Shackleford. The pumper is up and no good. Out it comes to Gilliam for Purdue. Fast break here. Passes off. And to the baseline, Bedford, left-hander does not go, Tippett doesn't go, Chuck and Chip does go, and that'll be Johnson who's back in the ball game, I believe. Johnson shoots and makes the single free throw attempt to make it 28 to 14. And after that, it's been all ruined. From backcourt, battle league, player control foul against Keller, starting him fight. Player control foul, turn the ball over. More than it should have been when they reset the clock. All right, here's Keller driving for the corner as we resume play. Shot no good. Tipped out and Bedford gets hold of it. Ball away jump shot by Bedford is no good. Rebound taken by Shackleford. He's surrounded by two Purdue men. Dribbles once. He can get it out. He'll have to get it up in the 10 second area quickly now. In the front court. Oh, intercepted by Mouth. Did he go out of bounds with it? No, he did not. Turnover back to Mouth. Corner shot. He does not hit again. Rebound. Bedford on the other side. Back to Keller. 18-footer. Keller does not go. On the rim. Bedford goes out of bounds. With it as he took it off the rim and went out of bounds. It was their shooting that had to be. Full court press. The battle takes it almost away from Heights. Gives the Heights in the corner. He'll come up from backcourt. Mont is guarding Heights. Left side. To, let's see. Here's a whistle. Mont to a 12. You believe it. The free throw good, 27, uh, 29 to 14. Now it shows 27. It's 29 to 14 with 657. Mount, top of the key, trying to drive against Heights, and he can't. Goes back out to get a pick. Goes into the corner, Alcindor and Heights on him. He shoots it, no good. Tip up is no good by Bedford. It was tipped in, I do believe, by Curtis Rowe. The nearest man that will be given to Gilliam. 29 to 16. 6.38 to go in the half. Left side to Shackleford. Fed the move. He banks one from the outside. He settles in. Didn't use the backboard at all. Al Sinder with 20 points for Lou. Going to the baseline. Shot by Keller. Around. No good. Lou gets it off the wrist. Now it's Shackleford up court in a hurry. Three Purdue men down. He's going to slow it down. Give it back to Kenny Heist. Al Sinder comes up court now. 31 to 16. Bruins with 6.11. Let's see, Purdue with two men out. Oh, I think they want Purdue to come out of this here now. They've got two men covering Al Center in this uh, situation to Shackleford. Let's see, I think uh, Coach Wooden wants them to go into a, an out offense here, a little slowdown themselves. Shackleford working it back to Bowdley, 31 to 16, right side to Curtis Rowe. Kenny Hyde's holding it, and if Purdue does not come out, UCLA does not have to do anything. Fed into Curtis Rowe to penetrate. Nobody within six feet. Purdue is behind. They must come out. They can keep it in the midcourt area all day. The Shackleford back out of the midcourt area it comes. And now they'll have to move if they get a man within six feet. Comes in to Shackleford. Back out again to Battle Battle in the midcourt area across to Kenny Heights. Back to Battle Lee, then to Shaq. He pumps away from 18 feet. It is no good, and the rebound goes to Gilliam. He's checked in a fast break. In the front court, Keller. Bounce pass across to Bedford. Gets to the mount. Bounce corner shot. It does not go. Rebound, Shackleford. They mob him. Bedford will pick up the foul. Well, <laughs> here's the free throw. It's no good by Shackleford. As we resume play, Lou puts it up, and he's fouled in the act of shooting. Drawing this foul will be Bedford. Now, Center hits the first of two free throws fouled in the act of shooting. Second free throw is good by Al Sindar. Front court here now. Here is uh, Gilliam trying to drive against Sidney West, who's just come into the ball game, and he can't. Comes from the corner. Back out again to Weatherford. Weatherford midcourt area against Kenny Heights now. Going along the baseline. Can't get in. Heights right with him. Feeds it back out. 
That was 16 fouls, by the way, that last one. Keller from the outside, fouled by Bill Sweet. In and out, no good. That one's good. 33-17. Both teams in the bonus area from now on. 16 fouls on both sides. Heights from backcourt. Palms the ball. He looked away for just a moment. Lost control. If this team had 22 turnovers, they could not beat Purdue. I don't know if they'll have 22. Here's Gilliam dribbling around, getting an outside pass that is no good. Rebound knocked away. Knocked in by Wicks, but into the hands of Jerry Johnson. Covered by Al Center at the baseline. Loops it out to midcourt. Bill Keller now to control it for Purdue. Gives to Gilliam. Gilliam top of the key trying to get a screen there, but not being allowed it by Curtis Rowe. Here's a screen for Weatherford's outside cast. It doesn't go. Al Sunder high above the board to get the rebound out to midcourt to Kenny Heights. Heights coming down now. Driving in, takes a stop and pop. It's no good. Knocked away by Purdue. Taken by Keller finally after Gilliam had knocked it away to Weatherford at midcourt. Weatherford looking around for company. He sees nothing but blue, and that's the Bruin uniform today. Keller. Building around, takes it, 20-footer for the outside, doesn't go, rebound, Sidney Wicks, timing it nicely, watching it, and then going up for it. Here in front court, Kenny Heights, he saw Curtis Rowe cutting from the left side, but too many men to pass over who might have deflected it, slows it down. Now to Rowe, Rowe trying to feed Lou and Kent, drives in himself, puts it up, this is Lou, gets it, follows, puts it in. Al Cinder makes it 35 to 17, UCLA, with 3.23 to go to halftime. On the outside here now, Gilliam in front court, goes to the corner, deep corner shot, it goes. That breaks a long drought for Purdue. To be inbounded against the full court press by Purdue. Two heights. Heights in backcourt. Two Sweet, who covered nicely to the left. Sweet in the front court, left side. Here's Rowe getting a screen from Al Sooner. Putting it up, no good. Rebound taken by Purdue. Driving up court, three on one, fast break against Heights. Coming from the left, back to Bedford. Knocked away by Rowe. Two points, full pending. With 2.53 to halftime. Sidney Wex feeds it. Oh, it's lost over Lou by Keller. Shot by Johnson. Does not go. Lou battling with the rebound. There's a whistle here. Foul call to number 30, Hunt Gilliam. This one's far from over. He makes the first. Up from Hamilton High in Los Angeles. He misses the second out. It comes. Here's Gilliam coming up quick for Purdue. Up to the key. Driving it all the way against Wicks. Hooks it up. No good. Follow is no good. Al Sinder got a hand out of it. It comes out here to Bedford. Getting it in the corner. The crowd thought Lou should have drawn a foul. Keller from the outside. Pops it in. 17-footer by Bill Keller. 23 to... 38. Okay. In the front court. Or the 36. 36? All right. Right side. That scoreboard really louses me up. Okay, left side, Wick feed to Lou. Lou puts it up and in. Over Johnson that time. All right, left side to Mount front court, drilling against Heights. Trying to get a fall away jumper up there, puts it up, no good. Rebound knocked away, it'll be given to UCLA. Stepped away from Al Sender by Jerry Johnson. Long pass out in the front court, intercepted by Gilliam. Taken back by Sidney Wick. For whom it was intended, holds it in front court. With a full court press. Wix uh, did a clever job that time. The pass was short. Gilliam grabbed it, but when he came down, Wix there to get it. Wix now feeds Al Center. Turn around, eight foot bank is no good. Rebound. Johnson, there's a whistle. Free throw is good. In and out, in. 38 for 25. The margin 13 of the. Jackalford shooting one and one opportunity here. Makes the first, he'll get the second. Make it 42. Shaq gets the bonus. 10 seconds, 9 seconds. Bedford dribbling into the key. He throws it up there. It's good. For 4 seconds. 31 to 42. Lou for back for That's it. Well, halftime. All right. Tip to the side. Curtis Rowe gets it. Gives now to Kenny Heights. Front court for the Bruins. The other end here in the second half. The Bruins in blue. Beat off the left side. Heights can't do anything with it. In the corner. Hell Cinder helping out, taking it in the deep corner. Dribbles out of it with it here now. Now passes back out. Purdue pressing the Bruins. Here's Shackelford dribbling up for a short bank shot. He's fouled. Shot's no good. It's good for now to get it accurate. Second is not good. Tipped up by Al Cinder. Out it comes. Curtis Rowe gets it off Lou's hands finally. Goes around Lou. Banks it up. It doesn't go. It's tipped in on the side. And let's see. Followed by himself. Curtis Rowe putting it in. Keller in front court against Valdi here now. Going for the switching man for man. 
it off. Here's Mount getting a screen, an outside shot by Mount. It's good. That makes it four for 19 for the game. Makes it 45-33. Short, Purdue not at an all-out press. Gilliam making a swipe at it. He gives it now to Kenny Heights. That throw dribble across court. In the midcourt area against Mount. Drives, penetrates. To the left side, back out again to Vatily. Will comes up at the high post with Lou at the low post, but they can't get it to him. Back out to Shackleford. They're guarding so tight the Bruins can't get it into Lou or can't get anybody open. That across now to Shaq. He can't get it to Lou. Lou on the opposite side of the key. Back to Shaq. Said not a Vatily one on one. He the double team gets inside. His man puts up a one hander and in. Good move by John Vatily. 47-33. Keller in front guard. Checked by Shackleford. Then Battle, he picks him up. Heights is on Rick Mount. Bounce pass to the high post man, Jerry Johnson. Screen for Mount. Lou sets the hand out there, and it doesn't go. Rebound to Bedford in the corner to the baseline. Johnson loses it. Tipped around several hands. Shackleford comes up with it. Shaq's played a sterling ball game again here. A senior, a veteran of three years of tournament competition. Back in the midcourt area to Kenny Hyde. Losing it for just a moment. He's dribbling in the midcourt area against Mount. Guarding him tightly. Will have to pass it in or will call a hell ball back to Valdi. Drives around to the right now. Whistle and a foul on Keller this time. He just hit his single free throw to make it 48-33 in front court. Immediately Gilliam on the dribble. Giving to Keller on the outside. Trying to drive around to get a shot to the baseline. Drives in. Passes off. Loses it. Regains it as it was tipped back. Mount for the corner against Heist. No good. Rebound. Shackleford. Quick hands getting over for it. Good work by Shaq getting that loose ball. Want to be outside. Front court now. Vatily on the dribble for the Bruins. Vatily gives it right side to Curtis Rowe. Rowe feeding into the key to Shackleford. Looking to feed Lou. He can't. Back out to Kenny Heights. Bob picks him up. Feeds to Lou on the weak side. Banks it up. It doesn't go. Tip up. Lou grabs it. Puts it in. No, it doesn't go. Lou gets it. It's in. No basket. Whistle. What a big call here. He puts it in. 49-33. Doesn't cast off as Rowe is there. Driving. Gilliam trying to fake out his men. Passes to Johnson. Gets it up. Goal pending ball against Alson. Who took the pass. Johnson cutting for the left. Fed up court now. New Shackleford getting around a press. And only the Rebel giving it back to Heights in the midcourt area. 49-35. As that two points was awarded to Johnson on the goal pending a moment ago. Heights can't feed it to Lou. Does feed to Lou. They sag off on him. He banks it up. No good. Rebound knocked out of bounds. No save by Bedford to Purdue. Purdue gets it. They're guarding tight here. In left corner. Here's Gilliam. Can't get a shot. Feeds around. Fall away jumper by Mount. It does not go. Heights stayed right with him. Johnson gets the rebound. Loops it back out. Midcourt area to Mount. Mount dribbling up, getting a long 22-footer that goes. He got a screen from Gilliam and hit. Backcourt, here is Vatily against Keller. Keller pretty quick. Vatily giving a little ground, gets it in the front court. He did not lose the dribble last time. There's no double dribble there. Kenny Heights almost on the line. It's into the front court area again now. Throws to Lou underneath, puts it in, two points. Not Heights, then dribbled around the left-hand side, fed Lou. Who put it in? 51-37. Long outside, 20-footer. Keller does not go. Rowe tips it up in the air. Grabbed by Lou on the next tip there. And Shackleford to midcourt now. Jack, very deceptive dribble as he can keep it low. Left side to Kitty Heights, front court. Drives against Mount toward the baseline. Shoots from the corner. It doesn't go. And the rebound goes to Gilliam. Fast break, three on three. Feeds off to Keller. Oh, he traveled with the ball. He traveled. Yes, he did. 51-37. The Bruins keeping their margin. It was 12-11 at the half. Curtis Rowe driving against Bedford to the baseline. Turn around. Banks it up. It settles in. Curtis Rowe. One-on-one. One-on-one there against his man. 53-37. Bruins uh, with the 16-point lead. Outside cast is no good by Gilliam. Rebound going to UCLA. That'll be bringing it up court now. Leads to Kenny Heights. Heights the left-hand side. Let's see what Purdue was, is doing. They're sort of double-feeding Lou, but when they do, that leaves the row open. Left corner. Gilliam all over Shackleford. Drives the baseline. Passes out, but his pass comes out to Rick Mount. He thought he was going to be passing it to Lou, apparently. Mount trying to drive against Heights. They pick, pick up a foul on Heights. Mount is on the line. Shooting one makes it good. Shooting team with only 24.5% field goals in the first half. Shackleford here against Gilliam, hounding him in the backcourt. 
Reverses on the dribble. Crowded gets past the 10 second line. Double team foul on Weatherford. Up and in. No good. Tip up by Al Cinder. Follow and he puts it in. But he controlled it nicely. Al Cinder 55 to 38 now is the score. Jacks had the perfect line there on the free throw, but hit the side iron. Mount dribbling around, driving in. Makes a beautiful move, but there's a whistle. The basket is good and a foul on Curtis Rowe. Mount makes the three point play. 55 41. 14 points. Points for lead. Rick Mott now. 55 41. A 14 point lead. Bruins in front court. Kenny Heights left side with Mount holding up his hands. He feeds into the key to roll. Rope gets it away from Bedford. Bed to Lou. Pivots around. Turns around. Banks it to the baseline. Settles in. Now Sunday. With a brilliant display of scoring here. Mount drives down the left hand side. Kenny Heights or Bob. Which was it? Ball on Heights. Another job during the week. No good. Missed on the free throw and the rebound to Al Cinder. So Mop missed the free throw there, 57-41. In the front court is uh, Donnelly driving down the left-hand side right with him. Weatherford, a foul is called on Weatherford. One shot. Good. 58-41. Now, just under 14. Gilliam in front court, right side to Bedford. Bedford against Curtis Rowe here in the Bruins. Here is uh, Johnson shooting from the outside, banking it up and in. Shooting from 15 feet against Al Cinder out there. He was looking for the pass off by Johnson. He is conceding him the shot if he wanted to take it. Vatterly from backcourt now for the Bruins. 58-43. Vatterly against Weatherford. He can't get into the corner, which he wants to do this time. He did. Wanted to feed Lou from there. Back to Heights, top of the key. They sag back a bit, giving Heights the outside shot. Corner by Vatterly, and he hits from the deep corner. John Vatterly. Vatterly has had a great tournament here. Now, Purdue in front court. Into the key, pull away by Bedford. It's good. Tyrone Bedford hits. 60 to 45. Tacklebird inbound against the full court press. Kenny Heights against Rick Mount. He'll bypass him on the dribble and does. Gets in the front court, keeps going. Corner to Rowe, driving the baseline, going in, missing. Rebound. Rowe, and Rowe puts it in and is fouled. Good. Free throw, three point play with 12.48 to go in the ball game and a lead of 63.45. Long outside cast, Gilliam. It does not go out, it comes. Knocked away from Johnson, but I think Kenny Heights picked up number four. That's no good. No good. Rebound Al Cinder. He's met by Bedford and Bedford puts a hand in. He gives to Heights now in the midcourt area in front court. Waving everybody back as Heights feeds Vatterly in the key. Jumper from 15 feet by Vatterly. Doesn't go. Tip up by Rowe. Doesn't go. Rebound by Purdue. Bedford almost losing the dribble. Gets it up in the front court. A pop shot by Weatherford is good. 13 quarter. Coming off their fast break. 63-47. A stop and pop. In the front court, throw one on one here against Bedford. Double team feeds to Shackleford. Reverse layup by Shaq, cutting in from the key. 65 47. Bills across, gets a screen, 20 footer on the way by Keller. It doesn't go. Rebound knocked off to the side. Shackleford gets it. Shackleford out to Kenny Heights of UCLA. Heights being bothered by Keller, gets it in the front court to Curtis Rowe. Time. UCLA wants a timeout. As play is about to resume, UCLA 9 for 18, 50%, Purdue 7 for 14, 50%. It's weak now. With Mount bothering feeds into Curtis Rowe, back to the guard driving, and the give and go works. Sweet cutting off the weak side, scores too, 67, 47. Weatherford well out there. Johnson, the big center, comes way out with him now. They give it back to him to Keller on the right side. Back to Mount. Well across. He has Sweet on him now. Picked up by Alcindor. Stops and shoots. It does not go. Alcindor covering him. Out to Keller. Keller gives to Mount. Easy shot from the corner. It goes. Wide open. Mount hit. And he left the hustle to get his, his normal 33, but Coach Wooden was willing to concede him, I think. That for the game if nobody else scores big for Purdue. Battle in front court here. Left-hand side. Keller makes a swipe. He shoots from the corner. Does not hit this time. Keller knocks it out. There's a whistle. Gives them a strong boost in this country. Free throw is good. 67 to 50. Keller hitting that free throw. Makes it 67 to 50. Cut to the 17. Choked in backcourt here now to Sweet. He gets by Mount. Mount doesn't want to do too much because they want him offensively. I, I hasten to add that because he is not a bad defensive player. It's just that 
He doesn't want to commit those unnecessary fouls. Fed into Lou nicely by Sweet. Hook, and there it goes up and in. So here's Johnson, outside 15-footer, in and out, no good. Al Center loses the rebound. Keller gets it, passes along the end line. Loose ball, Keller gets it again in the corner now. He'll take it off a bit now on the left side. Comes back toward the corner against Vatily. Drives, shoots, and it does not go in and out. Tip up is no good. Tipped out to Vatily now by Rowe. Vatily clearing of traffic as UCLA gets the ball. Purdue just not up to their shooting in this ball game. Make no mistake about it, and UCLA has a lot to do with it. Sweep right side to the wing with Curtis Rowe. Back to Patterson. The right of the key here now. Gives it back out to midcourt area to Schofield. Then to Sweep again. Keller getting a hand of the ball there, but then to Rowe. Roll at the side here of the key back to Patterson underneath. Fall away jumper by Shackelford. No good. Rebound comes out to Mount quickly to midcourt. Shoots from the outside. Stop and shoot. Good. Rick Mount hitting. 15 footer. 71 to 56 with 806 remaining. Schofield against Mount. And uh, Rick falls down and there's no harm, no foul rolled. Schofield into the key. Off to the left side to Shackelford. Now to Sweet on the outside. Bruins just using a lot of time to take the good shot is the idea of this crew in here. They don't want anybody to take a bad shot at this stage. Driving in Schofield has a shot blocked and knocked away by number 32 Kaufman. They'll give it to UCLA. Shackelford to inbound. Well outside to Steve Patterson. Gives alongside to Sweet now. Sweet and Schofield the guards. Left-hand side, Shaq feeds to Rowe at the baseline, trying to get underneath. He can't feed underneath to Patterson, coming down the lane, and hit. Patterson puts it in. Layup by Patterson. 73-56. Keller driving around to the right, staying with him. Terry Schofield tries to drive, an offensive foul is called to Schofield at position. Fed in to Bill Sweek. Sweek in backcourt. He'll have to go against Keller, who's pretty quick with his hands. Here he goes down the right-hand side. He's in the front court, all right. Now Sweet pivoting around. He'll need help here. Knocked away by Keller and a whistle. A foul called. The foul is called on Bill Sweet. And the free throw is good by Keller. Long pass to Terry Schofield. Three-quarter length. Looks behind. Driving layup is easy. Two points. 75 to 57. Schofield on the cripple. He slipped away. Now in the front court. Here's Gillian driving, hooks it up, it doesn't go. Rebound, Patterson was pressuring him. Patterson getting clear, dribbles once, gives to Curtis Rowe. Rowe will give to Schofield. Schofield bring it past the 10 second line. 6.39 to go, Al Cinder on the bench. Underneath the row, not the way by favor, taken by Kaufman. Kaufman in backcourt still gets it to Gilliam over the leaping Steve Patterson. Drives into the key, tries to drive past Shackelford. The basket will not count. A foul called on Shackelford. First is good. Save Kaufman. Free throw is good by Gilliam, making the bonus. Weatherford will come in for Gilliam. Drake, of course, pressured the Bruins in a ridiculous uh, situation the other night when they had a 12-point lead with three minutes to go. And almost flipped them. Let's see what you can do the same or whether the Bruins have more class to hold it. Patterson. Now, oh, wait a minute. A foul on Al Cinder. Kaufman making the third. 75-61. Purdue is a fine shooting team. Heights from backcourt against Mount. Now, he goes by him. past the 10 second line. Goes to the left. Gives it to Wicks. Wicks to Al Cinder. Over Lou. Into the hands of Purdue. Faber getting it up court quickly. Keller passing the mount. Hooking from the right. Making it. 75-63. This one isn't over yet. Donnelly is back for it. He's going to have to dribble around. Keller uses it behind the back dribble. He'll need lots of help. And now they call a foul on Keller. Donnelly puts it calmly through. He'll get the ball. If it does not go, tipped around by Louie. Loses it. Saved by Kaufman of Purdue in the end line. Brought up by Purdue. Here is Weatherford, stopped by Shackelford there at the top of the key, gives off to the left to Keller against Vatily, tries to drive in, shoot from the outside, one-hander doesn't go, tip-up doesn't go, there's a whistle, a foul called on Kaufman. He does not make it, 76-63, the Bruins not cashing in on their one-and-ones. Here's Weatherford driving into the key, whistle, foul called on Shackelford, one-and-one. Weatherford, 76-64, team, they put it through again. 76-65 by 11. Full court press. Stolen by Gilliam. He it goes out of bounds. The basket will not go. He stole it, but he went out of bounds with it before passing it back in. Full court press. 
Colin Weatherford. Shot is good by Vatley. Vatley's second. It's good again. 78. Vatley has 13 now. The 65. Those were two big ones. Remember? Drives into the key. Can't get a shot. Pivots around. Gives it back to Weatherford. They switch off. Vatley uh, trying to cover Weatherford. He shoots from the outside. It does not go. Rebound Al Cinder. The whistle will fall on favor of Kenny Heights with a one-and-one -one opportunity. It does not go. Rebound goes to Kaufman. Top of the key. Bounce past the mount against Al Cinder. Fall away. One-hander. He throws it up and in. Ho, ho, ho. What a shot Mount had there. 78 to 67. Heights in front court. He's checked by Mount. Can't get a pass to anybody. Gets to Vatley behind him. Vatley has Mount with him. Takes him with him down the left hand side of Mount. Pushes him. Vatley again hitting the first. Well, he makes the good. The bonus good. 80 to 67. Into the key goes Mount. Jumper from 22 feet. It's off the rim. No good. Rebound Al Sundar. Feeds it out to Shackelford down the left-hand side on the dribble. Stops in the mid-court area in front court. Now, cross it goes to Kenny Heights from Donnelly and the Bruins. They go into a, see if they slow down or not. Heights dribbling around, penetrates, top of the key. Feeds to Lou, too high and out of bounds. 80 to 67 with 356. Mount with Kenny Heights on him. Outside the circle, tries to get a pick, goes to the baseline, off to the right, ball away jumper from the corner, off the rim, no good, Heights staying with him, rebound, there's a foul in there. First free throw is good here by Tyrone Bedford, but it's no good, the rebound, Curtis Rowe getting it. Holds it, gives to Kenny Heights down the left-hand side, wants to feed Lou Kant. As Kaufman has his hand up between him and the basket, back out mid-court area to Vatley, back to Kenny Heights. Now there's a whistle, a foul called here on number 32, Kaufman. That one is five for six. He misses. Now it comes quickly, Kaufman to mid-court. Weatherford, Weatherford checked into the key, passes off. Here's a shot by Bedford. It's no good. Out it comes to Gilliam. Gilliam in traffic, throws up a short one, blocked by Rowe, taken by Heights. Good block by Curtis Rowe. 80 to 68 with three minutes to go. Fed on the right side to Rowe, Bedford tight on him. Rowe holding on the right-hand side. Bedford right with him. Drives into the key. Foskey gives it a shackle. Bird feeds to Lou. Lou does not want to take it now as he makes his move. Foul on top. Lou on the line. Makes the first. Good. Al Sender makes it 82 to 65. Drives around. Takes a jumper. They switch off nicely. He's caught. It's no good. But Al Sender losing the rebound as it goes off his hands out of bounds. Dribbles out with it. Picked up by Battley. Fall away. 20-footer. Goes. Rick Bounds. Sensational shooting. 82 to 70. In this half, he's been hot. After being 3 for 18 in the first half. Pivots around in the midcourt area. Heights. In the corner of the shack. Feeds to Lou. Here it is to Lou. Takes. Pivots around. What do they call here? Another foul on Coffin. Lou misses the free throw. Rebound taken by Johnson just under the ball game. 82 to 70 with 214. That's break up court. Mount into the key. Gets the fall away jump shot. Off the rim. No good. Rebound Alcindor. Holds it clear. Out to midcourt to Kenny Heights. He can go two on one with Shackelford cutting from the left. Misses. Followed by Heights. Is in and out in. First one is up and in. Up and in. Again, 84 to 70. Points. Long cast from the outside. Off the rim. It's no good. They'll call a jump ball on the rebound. Tips off to the side to Kenny Heights controlling it. Dribbles clear. Gets into the front court now. Down the left corner. Vanity back in the ball game here. Vanity handling the ball. He hasn't handled it much lately. Dribbling. On back and forth. Dribbling back and forth against Keller with his back to him. Feeds to Lou at a high post. They're playing a delay game now. And just back out the midcourt area to John Vanity. Vanity drives toward the inside to the baseline. He's bottled up by Keller. There's a foul on Keller. Free throw is missed, followed by Al Sunder. Two more for UCLA. 86 to 70. We were saying the Bruins here are already holding up number one and Big Lou, Bill Sweet, Kenny Heights putting their arms around each other. He gets George Farmer now, picked up by Steve Patterson. Sidney Wicks is in there. Uh, Bill Seibert, and so is John Ecker. Mount shoots from the outside, but again, Sidney Wicks, it was blocked. Bound. Into the corner to Mount. Then again, Sidney tries to pick him up. Then Patterson, long outside cast. is off balance and no good. Wicks gets the rebound. Loose ball whistle. He misses. Out it comes. Patterson gets it. Loses it. He thinks he's fouled. He makes the first. Patterson hits the second free throw to make it 88-70. to 70. We have Weatherford. 
getting an off-balance shot that doesn't go against John Ecker. Rebound taken by Johnson, shoves it up and in, banking it from six feet. Johnson makes it 88 to 72. Feeds into the key to Patterson at the high post, off to the right to Ecker. Ecker pivots around, takes a short jumper, settles down and in, and there's a whistle underneath the basket. Sidney making them both good. What a bird against George Farmer there on the outside. Bounce pass across court. Here's Bedford. Stripped by Farmer, I do believe, as he came by. Two seconds. He'll never get one off. That was a backcourt violation, but that doesn't matter. End of the game. End of the game. And the victory sign is raised here from the Bruins fans. Paul indicating the award ceremony coming up. We'll have a post-game guest. The final score here at Freedom Hall as UCLA wins its third straight NCAA title. UCLA, 92, Purdue, 72.